Hi students, so in the previous videos I explained about the interrupts in 8051 microcontroller uh, and the interrupt point priority register and the interrupt enable registers. Now let us see the interrupt structure of 8051 microcontroller. Here you can see the structure of 8051 microcontroller that is the interrupt structure. So this is the interrupt enable register which is used to indicate uh, whether the interrupt is enable or disable. So that interrupt may be the serial uh, whether the interrupt serial interrupt is coming or the timer interrupt is coming or whatever the external interrupts are coming that will be decided by this uh, uh, IE register and this is the interrupt priority register. So whatever the interrupt that is interrupt enable register is sending so that priority here we are deciding. So this register is deciding which interrupt has to be sent to this uh, sent to the CPU. So before sending to the CPU, the interrupt regist priority register is sending the interrupts based on the priority. So all the higher all the higher priority interrupts are stored here, and the lower priority will be stored here first. Okay. This is the higher priority will stored here and the lower priority will be stored here. Suppose we get the same uh, level of uh, interrupt means the same higher higher or lower whatever the both interrupts are having the same level of interrupt then this this is the interrupt polling sequence. So this is going to be decide which interrupt has to be sent to the CPU. This is an interrupt polling sequence and this indicates the low, low priority interrupts are stored here. This is the this is the low priority interrupts that are stored here and the high priority interrupts are stored here. So and this is the int zero interrupt zero and interrupt one. Uh, so that will be first sent to this uh, interrupt timer register. So with the help of this uh, NOT gate, so that will be stored in interrupt enable zero. And whenever int one is sent that will be sent with the help of timer register and that is stored in uh, interrupt enable one so this will be sent to here and this is the timer overflow register tf0 and timer overflow one register timer one overflow register and timer zero overflow register okay and r1 and t1 receive and the transmitter this is a serial this is for serial so here this uh, different types of interrupts so these are the different types of interrupts so the different types of interrupts that i said explained the, those are the timer in uh, timer zero that is a timer zero overflow interrupt and this is a external external hardware interrupts int zero is the external external hardware interrupt and int one is also an external hardware interrupt and this is the timer uh, timer zero overflow interrupt timer zero overflow interrupt and this is the timer one overflow interrupt and this is a serial communication interrupts ri ti so let me take ri ti serial communication interrupts so these are the different types of interrupts that are uh, received from the external devices external sources and those will be stored here in the interrupt enable register and this will be decided which register has to be sent and those all the interrupts are placed in the interrupt priority and here this indicates the global edge and here this will be individual interrupt enable so whenever the interrupt is enabled that interrupt will be sent to interrupt priority register if it is low priority it sends to here and suppose if it is high priority it sends to here okay so this is the interrupt enable whenever it is high it, it indicates interrupt is enabled whenever it is low it indicates the interrupt disable this is a this is an internal structure this is the interrupt structure of 8051 microcontroller thank you